Welcome, Terrence, to this wonderful game, Starpoint Gemini Warlords. So today I will be showing you this fun game I've been playing. The best way to describe it is Mountain Blade in space. And for those of you who are longtime viewers of my channel, you know that I'm a real big fan of Mountain Blade. If you are just turning in, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. And that way you can catch in all the stuff if you like it. You don't have to subscribe if I'm shat at the job. But I do appreciate you if you take your time out of your day to, to watch me play, play the game. So all of these are like a free roam, which give you different bonuses. This is like easy mode to hard mode. Like it starts you level 1 or all the way at the end. Um, so campaign, this is what I recommend playing. Campaign is like the tutorial, but you're playing it, and it has its own, like, story. It's a very unique story, which I like. So I'll give you, like, the rundown. So after the aliens, the Ashari, invaded the solar system and almost completely eradicated the Earth Empire, the remnants of the Imperial forces and civilians alike fled through the star point into the Gemini. Seeking a safe haven, most of the newcomers fought to maintain their old ways, desperately clinging to the ideal of a grand Earth Empire, unmatched in all of known space. All the scheming didn't help them as they were ultimately defeated. Unknown to most factions in Gemini, another group of the exiles settled on the planet of Veneris in the outer regions. Letting go of all traces of the old imperial regime, a new faction has appeared in the solar Solaria Concord, political discord and fear of the Concord would ultimately become a new incarnation of the Loathed Empire has convinced the Exile Council, the leaders of the Solaria Concord, the steps must be made to secure the Concord's borders. Icarus, the first battleship in the Concord's navy, is just about to embark on its trial run. So this is our first battleship. I'm sorry for the quick cut there. I want to try to cut out any... Um, loading screens. This game has very few loading screens, but when it does, I'm going to cut them out. So if you see a jump, that's just a loading screen that I cut it out. Most of the time, it's just for planets. So this is the Fenaria region. Also, if there seems to be an FPS drop, it's mainly this cinematic scene. This is like the one and only cinematic scene that's in that campaign so far that I've seen. I played uh, the campaign a little bit with my other save, but figured out there was a new modding community coming out. Uh, some new mods have been dropping, so I wanted to kind of show show you guys some of the mods because they're pretty fun. And people work really hard on them. So this is our space station, Concordia. This is where all research and development of the entire empire happens. This is like our one and only space station. Remember, the Concord is... We're kind of on our last legs. So we're we're just holding out. Like, we're just trying to survive. They gave us the worst planet they could imagine. Which is like Hoth 2.0. They have um, gave us a run-down old mining space station that we turned into this. Which shows how impressive we are. And we are now loading our first battle. Like so, what? Like I was saying before, this is our first battleship, the battleship Igarus, since the Earth Empire fell, since we lost Earth, and the aliens defeated us. SCS Icarus, proceed with departure. Affirmative command. We're green for departure. Engineering, begin main system startup. Aye, sir. Primary sensor grid is online. Powering shields. So we're just running the Icarus through um, preliminary testing, like kind of like a PCS, in the shield matrix. to make sure everything's working properly. Fluctuation is noted for post-flight examination. Continue with the startup, Icarus. Roger that, Concordia. Engineering, prepare for main engine start on my mark. Engage. Uh, 
but it's kind of giving you like a a slow uh, pan view of what one of the battleships looks like. Now, through throughout the course, there's going to be a lot of different ships that you get, and one of the mods, one of the main mods I have in the pack, all the mods are in the description. No abnormal readings. They will. Um, course and proceed. Hi, sir. Proceeding as planned. Try not to over talk these guys when they're talking. They talk sometimes, and then a lot of times it's reading. So I'll try to make voices for them when they they're not actually talking, and then you can decide who did it better. But I'm gonna try to use a lot of the modded ships more than the vanilla ships. But this is one of the vanilla ships. This uh, cockroach-looking ship, Icarus. Um, it's our main battleship, and you can see the size difference between the battleship. The ship we will be flying for the campaign, like tutorial, is a frigate. Now frigates are decently sized, and you'll see the size comparison between the two. So this is currently us. This is the um, escort ship, Ser Serena. So what we'll be doing is, so W goes down, S goes up, A goes to the left, D goes to the right, and Q and E let you do a barrel roll, Star Fox. And now to speed up, you scroll the mouse wheel up, to slow down, you scroll the mouse wheel down. It's a pretty easy, what I love about this is it's like a uh, Star Citizen, and but the flying seems so much easier. Like. It's like Star Citizen based on there's so many different ships. And but they they make it so smooth to fly. And this thing is so beautiful just to look at. Glad you could join us, Cyrene. So that's our ship. Cyrene. That's not the name of my Icarus character. Icarus to Cyrene. Follow closely but not too close. We don't want to scratch the fresh paint off the first ever Concord battleship in its trial run. Roger that, sir. We'll be careful. So one thing you can do is you can click them and then uh, middle mouse button and then uh, click follow. So you, it's something that sometimes, like there's certain things the game doesn't fully explain on, but um, that you learn as you go. And this is one of them. The middle mouse wheel, after you click on something, will give you a lot of, there's like boarding, you can board ships and take them over, you can send transports to try to like mess with them, or transport to other ships to repair them if one of your ships is to disengage. Oh shoot, I forgot to make his voice. Alright, I'll just start from here. Affirmative, please run full system diagnostics. The Icarus is still a prototype, an advanced one, but still a prototype. Roger that. He's so protective of that ship. I would be too, sir, if I designed it. That's my female voice. I'm sorry, that's the best I got. I know, I know, but what's the worst thing that can happen? Huh? Engineering to brig. Uh, be advised, sensors detect microfractions on the port hall plating. That was my best Jamaican voice I could come up with. Roger, Serene, please scan our plating. Sir? As Mr. Trace said, this is still a prototype and I can't be completely sure the sensors are working properly. I want a verification before letting the good cyborg know. Icarus, you are broadcasting on all frequencies. I may not like your tone, but the idea is sound. Do the scan serene, trace out. He, he went a little gangster there, that robot. Yes, sir, scanning the Icarus. I'll relay the info to the Concordia as well. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Been too fast. Uh, so space lets you switch between select mode and steering mode. And you can select them with left click, middle mouse button, and like I said, you can do all these different things. Like you can hail them, have conversations with ships, just like in Star Trek. You can tell them to follow you, mark target, 
fire at will, sublight, deploy troops, transport, grapple, if you want to grapple them in, and scan. So we're going to be scanning them because the sensors are malfunctioning. Initializing scan. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Icarus, your sensor data is correct. Structural so that's what she actually protected. sounds like. Copy that, Cyrene. Concordia, are you getting this? For those of you that would prefer the vanilla Concordia, voice over my beautiful voice, this is mine. what they really sound Section like. Is noted for overhaul in the next iteration. Great, great. I'm sure the captain of the next iteration will be pleased, but I'm still dispatching repair drones. So these little guys are kind of like the mini R2-D2s or B-88s. They just go around. Uh, when you get them, then they'll fly and try to repair ships. They're best used after a battle because they get they get killed almost instantly. Like by anything, you can't use like the shields to protect them. So these guys are an unknown group that just decided to show up. We might use their help soon. Incoming ships, you've entered the territory of the Solari Concord without permission. So that's how you actually pronounce it, the Solari Concord. You will never have a claim in Gemini, Imperial Burra. She just called you an Imperial woman's garment. They clearly mean business. Fleet engage. <laughs> She's like, oh, she called me a bra. They mean business. And I just turned the complete wrong way. So, space to switch between cursor and thing. F is telling your men that's on your ship. You have a certain amount to fire at will. Though, the fire at will is um, basically your mini turrets. They will fire for you. X fires your heavy weapons. You can also ram them if you want. Um, I don't usually recommend it, and most of your turrets are on top of your ship, so it's best to get under them if you're wondering why I flew like that under. So they just did like a kamikaze ramp. Hell was that, Higgs? Hunting down hostile, sir. Doing it blindly will only get you killed. You're a good captain, Terra, and the Concords need good captains more than ever. That ship wasn't doing any real damage. Your frigate, on the other hand, could have. Lay off for back, bro. It won't happen again. Lay off Concordia, the, the back. The situation has been handled. She's just Concordia? fight hungry. So our cargo ray was damaged in the collision. Long range communication is not possible, and we're also detecting some damage on the propulsion. Let me try, sir. Concordia, this is the Siren. Please respond. Sherwood. Attack. Concordia's under attack. Cyrene, get to the station as fast as you can. What about you? What if the attackers come back? You have no way of contacting us. We can handle it. Our engines are down, not our shields or weapons. Proceed to the Concordia. Now. That's an order. By your command. So, basically, there was a decoy attack. Now this is what I want to show. So if you did free mode without the campaign, this is the only two territories that you would get. So you have your home world here, and then you have the space station Concordia, which they have uh, certain things like alien artifact vaults over here and over here. Uh, this red around is actually enemy territory that's around us. And this is how big the map is. Like this is by no means small. This is the entire Gemini cluster. All of these circle things right here, these octagons, these are home worlds. These are actually like planets. And then all of these smaller, like little mini things are space stations and stuff like that. So there, this world is filled, like this whole galaxy thing is filled with factions, all oh, doing their own thing, all one different stuff. Sublight. But you can travel in that, that map mode's the star map is kind of like your strategic mode, but I like flying. I like seeing things like this. This is a mining-like 
structure where we're mining these ice asteroids for materials. The space station, the planet, like they did really good. It looks beautiful. So it looks like we... What are you doing here, Serene? Where is the Icarus? The gamma ray is damaged, but overall they're in good condition. The captain sent us to assist. Assist with what? There were only a handful of ships. The Polarius security team took care of them. Wait, how was the array damaged? One of one of the ships attacking us did a kamikaze on the Icarus. Tara, the Icarus comma array is not exposed. I can hardly envision a way a ship slamming into the Icarus could have an impact on the comma array. Concordia to all ships. Proceed to Icarus. Last known position. Use jump capability if possible. Higgs, can the Serena jump? Negative. The drive has no charges. Wait, are you thinking sabotage? No time for that. Close and use tele transportator. I'm sending over the coordinates in it, the transport platform. So what you do for this, this is like I was saying, the mother things you can click on the the ship, transport, and they can bring over an FTL drive. Which lets you go to FTL, basically. Now we have an engineering team, a part of that ship, and they're able to FTL right into a battle. So we're sending in the fleet as fast as possible. No, no, that's not possible. Sorry, situation report. Icarus, Concordia. The Icarus has been destroyed. Sirene to all ships. The Kerns are trying to run away. After them. Let no one escape. Sirene, that's a negative. Sirene! Terra, no. We'll have our payback later. You need to search for survivors. I can't... We can't let the Commander die like this. Not like this. You're right. Fleet, disengage and search for survivors. Scan every inch of this debris field. Rescue as many people as possible, but your priorities are Exo Harcrow and the Commander. So Exo Harcrow was the guy who was piloting the ship. So they're currently scanning any any I little bit. Located the Commander's escape pod. Like any life that they could find on them ships that got destroyed. And this is us. So, the good thing about this game is you can be uh, male or female. So, I'm going to be a male, but I just want to kind of quickly go through the pictures. So, that way, anybody who wants to play as a female, you kind of get an idea of what all of the like there's a variety of them a lot of these um uh well this i don't want to judge it says female it is 2017 plus years uh so yeah these these two i guess identify as females That has got to be one of the best faces for a picture I've ever seen. So as you can see, there's a I really like our outfit. Like I, I, I love red and black as a color scheme. So that's that's the females, and here's the males. So we gotta find someone. This looks like. Um, Tallahassee from Zombie Land. As you can see, there's a lot of variety to choose from. 
Uh, the mod that adds the, some of these pictures are from Gemini 2. There's a mod that will be in the description that adds these face masks. That one's just the guy testing the different like Snapchat links. I like the cat. they put a lot of thought into like you can almost tell the different personalities of people based on how they look that dude has got the derpiest face can you imagine if I pick that eh. there's no aliens as far as I know that's in the Gemini it's only humans so when they when they see them so I'm gonna pick this um, the main the first guy because I'm going with one of my big time things, Lord Raven. Now I'm not going to be Blackwell, but I'm, I could use my surname in real life, but I think because in honor of Game of Thrones coming out next month, I'm going to go with one of my favorite houses. I really, I'm really hoping to make sure I spelled that right. Uh, people in the comments would be just murdering me so I'm really hoping that Grinchy Baratheon gets back like he finds Arya they get together he remakes the house and stag because in real life my surname's coat of arms is the stag just like Baratheon so if I was in Game of Thrones sadly that would be my household they, they used to do really good they're not doing so well now <laughs> I don't know how far people have gotten but that's all I'm gonna say so there's different classes you can get. The Vanguard is a class best utilized in close quarters. So they have a passive ability, which light weapon damage to increase the closer you are to your target. Shotgun shoots dozens of explosive shots in a core. Ram charge the enemy at high speeds. Gravity pull pulls the enemy closer to you. And Overlord deals damage to a larger area. The Sharpshooter class is a large range high burst damage dealing capable of pushing enemies away creating a holographic copy of your ship and disrupting damage across multiple targets this is the my favorite one uh mainly because i love the special ability and i love that precision shot so it's passive ability All, most of them increase the light weapon damage it increases the further away you are from the target so the vanguard increases the closer you are with the light weapons the sharpshooter is the further you are. Uh, precision shot fires a destructive bolt at an enemy. Holographic creates a holographic copy of your ship to draw away enemy fire. Gravity push. So that like holograph, hollow decoy on their sensors, they see your ship. So they assume that's your flagship. And warhead, flash your enemies with a large radius. Or a marauder. The Marauder is a sabotaging sneak attacking class which utilizes cloaking technology, single shot, finishing blows and the disabling and weakening of enemy ships these are like the predator type ships they add an additional chance to deal critical damage with light weapons the exposure a short range detonation weakens it cloak into a cloak state to avoid detection disable a close quarters blast that disables targets for a short duration and execute a short range single target attack which bypasses shields and deals damage to weaker enemies but I am going to choose the sharpshooter. Subject life deteriorating critical condition intimate began automated medical administration accessing medical records error data corruption detected initializing secondary recognition protocols. So this is kind of like your character's backstory. Um, they give different skills. Skills will definitely help if you've ever played like Viking expeditions or anything like that any of the expedition games it's kind of like them they help during like when you're talking so i usually if every game i play i'm a shit talker so images of a child surrounded by formally dressed people a motherly figure signs a document featuring an official seal imperial attachment to the uf guild diplomacy perk one so that was what i did 
when I was a kid. My mom was a diplomat. I uh, watched her and now I know how to shit talk people. 25%. So this is like our teenager. I'm tired of sitting around in a desk stamping things with my little royal stamp. Um, ticked off. I'm a teen. I'm going to revolt. I'm going to riot. So I'm not going to do one of these two. These two seem too nice because I'm tired of being nice. So I throw my little stamp against the wall, bounces back, hits my head. A little tear runs down my eye. I try not to show it. I am now, boom, a mercenary. Just a revolt. Uh, then after I realized this was a horrible mistake, I'll go back to my rich, cushy life. So hard crushed and then silent. Shuttle doors explode outwards. Wounded crewmen lying on the floor, sick with the seed. You look at your feet. Skull insignia decorate your suit and automatic rifle frozen in your hands. Bald, bald officer with a deep gash where his eyes was slap you hard. Snap out of it! Fight! Pointing towards the breach. Privateer. So I became a pirate. I didn't just become a mercenary. I went full blown revolt mode. And now I was a criminal for my teenage years. You know, shady past. Now I'm 55. I'm, you know, a young adult. Um, so now I can do any of these. I think I'm going to choose Hacker. A series of images like a show reel show a hollow screen shimmering and flashing with each input line. The code is broken. Data is free for the taking. So uh, I gain the Hacker skill. Cross-referencing 97 probability of positive identity match as Baratheon, Lord Raven, male, Concordia, station administration, accessing medical records through local data network. Administering medical treatment. Subject stabilized. Concordia, we found the commander, but he is in critical condition. The pod's medical is keeping him alive. Barely. I'll personally join the search and rescue, but we can't risk as fast as you can, Terra. I guess I guess that makes Terra my waifu. That's how it always happens. The main character gets saved by the girl at the beginning. In every single anime. Just kidding. Good to see you on your feet, Commander. For the most moment there, we thought we lost you. We weren't sure if you had made it off Icarus until Tara found your escape pod. Parkrow sent me down to engineering after the first attack to see if I can figure out what went wrong with the comps. Next thing I remember, waking up in the infirmary on uh, Veneros. I can't really pronounce that, so I might just call it the like Big P. You clearly got into escape pod somehow. You were in pretty bad shape. The pod med pod patched you up until we could get to you. It's a good thing you installed them, Ben. What about Harcrow? Did he make it? No, it doesn't seem so. We didn't find his body, but the Icarus was just a burning wreck at that point. Did you get anything from Icarus Lux? I'm sorry, my droid voice is like, it seems like it's gone like all over the place. I don't know what happened. I don't know how to get it back. No, we didn't to manage to save anything of value from it. You're one of the few survivors. The blessing is the whole, and this whole mess is that the Icarus was running on a skeleton crew. We didn't have much to go on, do we? What else has been going on while I was out? What would you want to know? So, my character's got amnesia, so I'm gonna ask them, who are you? You're getting right. I thought the doctors cleared you. Don't tell them you asked this, or you'll be right back in the hospital ward. Did we work together? I have to tell you, Commander, this doesn't look good. Yeah, we worked together on the Leviathan project. You ran the station, but that as far as I'll go with this, maybe it's better you forget some things. I'm sure I'll get my memory completely back, especially if I jog it a bit like this. Give me some sit rep. Where does... The council stand on the whole thing. Am I still in control of Concordia? I'll say it straight. The council isn't happy with what happened to Igress, and they're pretty much pointing the finger at you. So I can understand this being in the military. Uh, if something like this were to happen, to save public face, 
even though there's probably nothing wrong with my guy or he did everything he possibly could, they don't want the public thinking that, you know, this could easily happen again. Especially since we just lost the strongest ship in our entire fleet. So they want someone to kind of be like the scapegoat and sadly my guy is the scapegoat. They don't think you actually did it, but they are saying you messed up being organized security on your shoulders so where does that leave me now i've managed to convince them to at least give you another chance i got a ship waiting for you in orbit one of the gunship class meet me with me on concordia we'll talk more once you're there will do so this is like what it looks like on the ship one quick thing i wanted to show you guys too if i'm going too quick on the tutorial have no fears uh one cool thing the creators put in this handy like in play thing and one thing i would love about this it's a the gemopedia has like everything you could possibly want to know like all the lore plus these little tutorial videos and they actually First, play let's go over the most important hard elements at the bottom left corner you can see the radar which shows the position and of nearby ships there's no there's no loading they're just like in your little HUD. So you can play them at any time if you are missing your thing. So these are the ships, the different um, gunships. At the bottom is like the manufacturer, it's like the faction. And we'll be meeting a lot of these. So this is our faction, obviously. These guys are like, uh, they're only industry, they're only merchants. These guys are like the one of the main factions in the game that try to go around. The Gemini Space Engineers, they are kind of like intelligent gatherers. The Baldir Republic is right near us. They're like the closest neutral faction to us. They are basically the Star Wars Republic before it collapsed. The Trinity Free States are kind of like the Greek City States. And the Convor or Warrior type place. They're like the Cleons. And the Syndicate is a criminal, like a bunch of criminal organizations together. So we are going to be choosing our, um, our gunship from our faction. So I always do this, SCS, because that's what all the Concordia ships start with. And then I'm not going to call it the Serena because that's what Terra's ship is. So I'm going to call it like the slingshot or no I'll call it the the scar since that's a reference not only to uh, one of the characters from our dead cast anime but also uh, because the scars of this loss just hurt us so deep so I think uh, I want to show you guys, I want to give you guys a quick panorama view. So this is what the gunship looks like. These are about the size of a standard, um, like I would say jet or TIE fighter. Um, they're not too big. They are basically for engaging, you know, the enemy and getting the job done as quickly as possible. They're like a one man crew type thing. You can see the turrets on the top, the four turrets. That's one good thing. Uh, about these ships and then but I love this view uh, like you can just see from here so I'm gonna call it here guys thank you for watching tune in next time